On the 12th of November, the European Space Agency will attempt a daring feat to land a robotic probe on a comet that is spinning through space some 500 million kilometres from Earth. Mission scientists confess that they may not succeed. When the Rosetta spacecraft set out 10 years ago, scientists expected to encounter a simple potato-shaped clump of ice and dust. The rubber duck-shaped comet, named churyumov gerasimenko or 67P, has turned out to be both stranger and more interesting than anyone had imagined. Rosetta finally arrived at the comet in August after hunting it for a decade. Landing the robotic probe, Philae, will be the pinnacle of the mission, but it will also be the riskiest part. It will take precision and a lot of luck. Since August, Rosetta has been orbiting the comet in decreasing circles. On the 12th of November, it will change course. Then, when it's about 20 kilometers above the comet's surface, it will release the lander. The force and trajectory of separation must be precisely choreographed, as Philae's descent will be completely unpowered. After unfurling its landing legs, the probe will settle in for a seven-hour descent. But Philae won't be idle. On the way down, its camera and other instruments will record the comet's magnetic field and gravity, as well as sampling the dust, gas and plasma around it. ESA scientists will be hoping for the softest landing possible. Since Rosetta arrived at the comet, they've been working frantically to find the best possible landing spot, picking a site on the head of the duck, Site J. But the golf course size zone is still littered with hazards, and the fate of the lander will be largely down to luck. A steep slope would topple the washing machine-sized probe. A boulder could capsize it entirely. At around 16.30, we should have impact. If Philae is lucky to find a safe spot, it will fire thrusters to pin it to the ground and release harpoons and ice screws to fix itself in place. If this is successful, a few hours after landing, we should see the first ever photos from the surface of a comet. Then Philae will get down to business, conducting experiments that could teach us about our own origins. Scientists believe much of the water on Earth, and maybe even the building blocks of life, could have been delivered by extraterrestrial objects like comets. Philae will drill 20 centimetres into the surface, analysing the molecules present and charting its new home. But its mission could be short. Battery power will last no more than three days, and operations beyond that will rely on solar panels, which may or may not end up covered in dust. That's if it makes it at all. Meanwhile, Rosetta will track the comet until at least August 2015, when the comet reaches its closest point to the Sun. It will follow 67P for as long as it can last in the dusty, windy comet world.